This man has the most absurd power I've ever seen. It's only comparable to Francis Ngannou. I'm almost convinced at this point, you could look at all the legends in the past, like the George Foremans, the Ernie Shavers, none of those guys hit like Deontay Wilder. Now, some of them may be better boxers than Wilder, but punch for punch, no one in boxing history hits this hard. It's the freakiest power I've ever seen before in boxing. He knocked out his opponent. I don't even remember his name. Even I got a little concussed watching it. Robert Hellenius. Wilder on the back foot, which is interesting because that's not something you normally see from him. You usually see him in the center or marching forward at the opponent to generate a lot of power for his one-two combo, specifically that right straight. Moving backwards, backpedaling away is naturally going to get power off of your punches. He hit this guy with a short right straight, not even fully extending it, and he didn't even throw the punch forward. He slapped his hand down on Robert's face and stiffened him. Bouncing off the ropes actually, which is going to generate a little bit more power, but the kind of punch that he threw, it looked like Wilder didn't even mean to knock him out with it. It looked like a punch just to get his opponent off of him, and boy did he get him off him, off him permanently. It makes you really think, how inhuman is Tyson Fury? That he was able to take this guy's punches, full power, full extended right hands from Deontay Wilder, and still beat him. Tyson Fury essentially beat him three times, if we're going to be honest here. And he got cracked by that right hand multiple times by Deontay Wilder and not only lived to tell the tale, but even went on to knock Wilder out in two of those fights. People can say whatever they want about Deontay Wilder's skills and how good he is as a technical boxer, but anybody he hits and they survive deserves all the credit. And the crazy thing about it is, yes, he's tall and long. He has a lot of leverage with his punches, but he doesn't have a lot of mass. He's relatively thin for a guy his height and with his reach. That is natural power, man. He's just gifted with it. And in the heavyweight division, he doesn't necessarily have to be the most technical boxer in order to get these kind of results. Maybe against someone like Tyson Fury, probably the best heavyweight boxer of all time, he's going to need a little bit more than just that. But for 99% of the other guys he's going to fight, he doesn't need to be as technical. And this is just further proving it. And at this point, what I want to see, and maybe recency bias, but I would love to see the craziness that is him and Francis Ngannou. Now, firstly, I got to preface, I want to see Ngannou stay in MMA more than anything else. I want to see him stay in the UFC and fight guys like John Jones, fight guys like Stipe and Cyril Gunn. These are his real matchups. As an MMA fan, these are the matchups I want to see the most out of Francis. But if he does choose to go boxing, if he does choose that path for his career... The Deontay Wilder fight would be so insane. These two guys can walk the earth knowing that they are the most physically powerful humans on the planet. Deontay Wilder actually said that he would like to fight Francis. It's someone that interests him. There's a lot of money to be made in that fight. And the first guy that lands a punch probably wins, I would think. But then again, Ngannou has a crazy chin himself. Wilder has a decent chin, but I don't think he could take an Ngannou left hook or uppercut. I don't think he takes one of those. But what's the answer the other way? Can Ngannou take one of Deontay Wilder's shots? He took a lot of Stipe's and never really got hurt. Stipe doesn't hit like Wilder, but he is a big heavyweight with a lot of power. And he barely even phased Ngannou. Surreal Gan head kicked Ngannou and Ngannou walked right through it. So when we talk about power and durability, Ngannou actually has more of an advantage in this one. And you could even say he might be a more technical boxer than Deontay Wilder. At least the way he throws his punches is a lot more focus on his technique, focus on the proper form, and he throws many different kind of punches out there. In Wilder's fight with Robert here, before the knockout punch, he was windmilling punches out there. He was just throwing haymakers, and you don't normally see Francis Ngannou throw punches like that. He has a lot more emphasis on perfecting his form than Deontay Wilder does. Wilder seems to really rely on his power, a lot more than Ngannou does. If Ngannou could be any elite boxer, it probably would be someone like Deontay Wilder, which brings on more interest. That's a fight that people actually don't know who would win. With Tyson Fury, it's a different story. I know Fury and Ngannou have been talking about wanting to fight each other for a minute now, but it's really hard to see Ngannou ever beat Tyson Fury. With a Wilder and Ngannou fight, there is at least interest on how competitive it could be. Wilder would definitely have the advantage the longer the fight goes. He has better cardio than Ngannou does. He can easily go 12 rounds, whereas Ngannou has never gone that long in a fight before. He's gone 25 minutes with Surreal Gan and with Stipe. Against Gan, he did look a little bit better, but he slowed down in the last two rounds. He did use his wrestling to pull ahead. It's an interesting thing to contemplate. More than anything else, I would like to see Ngannou stay in MMA. I would like to see him stay in the UFC. Fight guys like Surreal Gan, fight John Jones, fight Stipe again. Those, for me, are the best fights for him. But if he chooses to go to boxing, I wouldn't mind seeing him fight Deontay Wilder. 